I hope everyone's doing well, uh, keeping safe. Um, now I'm going to do part two of um, Aero Presses versus Delta Press. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to look at the Delta Press this time. So last last video was all about how the Aero Press worked, um, just showing you how to brew it at home. And now today I'm going to do the Delta Press. And at the end of this, I will actually compare what is better. Um, what I think, um, don't forget to hit subscribe and a thumbs up or you know, don't forget to comment if you want me to try out any other ways of brewing coffee at home. Um, I can always access all these and let you guys know what's the best way. So today we're gonna start with the Delta Press. So Delta Press is fairly new. It's another way of brewing um, coffee with a paper filter. So this is the packaging right here. So packaging right here. It is um, something different to the AeroPress. Um, maybe just on the looks alone, I reckon it looks great. Um, I can see through. Um, as I said, I'm a very visual kind of person. Um, it does have. It tells you the mills. I guess that's also the mills. Uh, the AeroPress had the one, two, three, four. Um, good. The difference about this one, it's got a different cap at the bottom. So you still have everything. Whoops. You still have the cap at the bottom. You still get paper filters. You can also use the um, metal filter, the mesh filter, sorry, the reusable one, if you guys like to, you know, save the environment. Um, yeah, so we're gonna see how this one goes compared to the ones, um, the AeroPress, and yeah. Okay, we're gonna start um, with the Delta Press now. Um, I've already warmed up my Delta Press, and the difference with this, because with the AeroPress, you don't need to invert it. Um, you can see it's got this little um, you know, rubber thing. It reminds me of the, um, the, the drip from the coffee machine, but it's just rubber, obviously, and that one's metal. Um, and it's you got to sit it like that. So we're going to get this ready. Before we do that, I've warmed up my... Just going to put some hot water onto this to, wa to wet the paper filter and warm up the cup while I'm at it. I've already pre-warmed the cup, but you know, kind of have to, kind of, kind of hurt to have it a little bit warmer. And once that's done, just check it away. And we're gonna start the same. So I'm gonna do the exactly same grams um, as the AeroPress, so I can see the diff feel the difference of, you know. Come on. A few minutes later. We're gonna do the exactly same as the AeroPress. I'm gonna put 18 to 20 grams of coffee in there. Ground coffee, same, same grind. Um, not too coarse, um, not too fine like espresso, but fairly fine. There we go. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna just even it out a little bit. Um, screw this on. Obviously this is gonna be a bit hard because I just flattened it. Okay. Now, we're gonna tear this. A few minutes later. So my scale is not currently working right now. So I'm gonna just gonna on top of, add on top of it. Um, it, won't let, it won't let me tear for some reason, maybe because it's a bit on the steam. So what I'm gonna do, the good thing about this thing, it can go up to 200 mils. I'm gonna fill up to 200 mils there. So we're gonna fill it up. So on my scale, probably 400. Fill it up there. We'll do a little bit over because I'm gonna do the, the grams a little bit hot. And what you're gonna do, this thing here, it's meant to be put on top. So you don't wanna spill any hot water. You don't wanna hurt. Um, you don't wanna get burnt by the actual water. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift some up Lift this up a little bit. When it goes a little bit. So I'm gonna move it up this 50 mils here. 50 mils there. And I'm gonna push it into the coffee just so that I can um, wet the coffee and it is immersed. So obviously it's already a lot gone through already. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna swirl it around so because we're not going on based on seconds, because this will fast 
this will you meant to do this in 30 seconds but this will fast make the process faster sorry so we just wheel it around as you can see it's already dripping already as well maybe because i already wet the coffee i flattened it in there so some people do it more um vigorously i'll just do it like that and what we're gonna do i'm gonna push it all the way up and then we're gonna push it down. So you can see, it is already dripping there. So I don't wanna ruin the scale, so I'm gonna move the scale away, because I've already weighed it. And we're just gonna push it through. If you can push it that. You can stop, as you can see the bubbles, because that is the pressure going through. So you don't have to lift, just stop, push, if you want, lift it up and push it again. And you go up again. And push whatever water still doing. Honestly, I think I put a lot more coffee that was supposed to um, be in here. The reason is I just want to see the difference between how much coffee, same coffee, the taste, everything the same. So I'm doing a comparison. But I would recommend doing a lot less. Again, this one you can change um, it, uh, alter the recipe, but this one it doesn't have much of a, you don't have much space to change it with the coffee ground because this is limited in there. With this one, you can change the mill so you can have a shorter shot as well. But again, that you could do that with the air press. So maybe the one thing I probably don't like is this, that it comes out the water out there. Okay, let's this here and enjoy a cup of coffee really clean um, I feel like air press had a stronger body um, honestly it's still a great way of making a coffee um, there's more tools there's more loose things that can come with it. But yeah, um, let me know what you think of the Delta Press. I feel like I've liked, I like the Air Press a lot more. I like how the design of this one, I like they, how they try to fix it, but the way of um, brewing it is a bit, diff is a bit different. Um, it feels like this was a lot harder for me to push. Again, could have been just the amount of coffees that I put in, as this thing just does say six gram of coffee. Maybe I should try the six gram of coffee. Let me know what you guys think of um, the Delta Press and the AeroPress. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and thumbs up if you like the video. And yeah, um, we'll, I'll see you next time when I make another coffee. Bye.